Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, TaylorMade Gaming. And in today's video, we have got our very first game in Mexico in charge of CD Tapateo. We're going to be taking on Tlaxacala. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's the first of many Mexican names I'm going to butcher over the next few seasons. And yeah... If you watched my last video where I tried to understand this league, I'm still confused. I still have no idea what's going on. Apart from the fact that I know for definite now, there's no promotion and no relegation. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. And also, we are the B team for this club here. Club Deportivo Guadalajara, one or two of you might have heard of them, their name rings a bell for me, and so yeah, we're their B team, so I think what that means is that we can play some of their players in our games when their players aren't fit or are just coming back from injury or anything like that, and so that is one positive, and I'm thinking at the minute that maybe the plan now that we're in Mexico and we're with this B team is to try and win our Mexican expansion league a couple of times two three times and try and get this job try and get the main job here at the club with Deportivo Guadalajara I think that's the plan but we're going to apply for it just once if it comes up while we're here. And if we don't get it, we're not going to apply for it again. And we're just going to set our sights elsewhere. I think that is the plan for now. And so let's just show you the club vision and what little transfers we have done before we do get into today's first game. And so... The club vision looks like this. Develop players using the club's youth system. Very important. Play attacking football. Fairly important. But this one, this one has really caught me out. Cannot sign non-Mexican players. So, yeah, thanks for that. And then also, develop players for the main club. To be expected, I suppose. And give playing time to first team players. The board are apparently delighted with that already. Maybe they're taking the friendlies into account. I don't know. We have done very well in friendlies. But we have only been playing against semi-professional sides. I'll show you the results in a minute. And then do not sign players over the age of 30. Which I suppose being a B team, again, is very much to be expected. But... The, the actual plan for this season is to win the Expansion League opening stage. I'm guessing that will change to the closing stage once that kicks off. And also to reach the second round of the Copper MX, which is this tournament here, which has got teams in groups of three. We've been drawn against two teams from the top league. Not sure if that's random or if that's how it's supposed to be. Anyone who knows anything about Mexican football, please do let me know down below because I am lost. Just please try and explain this whole league system to me, please. And so, yep, yeah, we've been drawn against Pumas de la Unam in uh, Group D and Quitaro FC. They're, both of them are in the top league, so I'm not expected to do too much there. And it's kind of unfortunate that the board want us to reach the second round, because I don't think we're going to. But you never, ever, ever know. Let's just have a look at the rules. Yes, yeah, group stage, then the second round, and it's completely knockout after the group stage. So that's going to be interesting to see how we get on with that. In the upcoming season. And you can see. I'm apparently only on a one year deal. Let's just double check that. When does my contract run out? 30 or 56. Yeah. I've only got a one year deal. So I've got to make the most of this. And I. Right from the start. But also what you will notice. Is that on there. 
they don't care about money. They don't care about finances. So that's a little bit different from Egypt, where we had to try and keep an eye on it, but the board just kept on screwing us over. So hopefully, not having to worry about finances, we should be okay. And then, and then let's just have a look at the expansion open stage uh, season preview. And you will see we are favourites to win the league. Now, I don't know if that's taken into account any of the um, first team players we might be using or what. I don't know. I really don't know what to expect from today's first game. Uh, one thing that is in our favour is that our opponents today are expected to finish 15th. So hopefully, nice, easy win. That would be very, very nice. And now as for transfers, we've only brought in one player. And that guy is Oswaldo Leon. So let's go and have a look at his scout report. Here we are. And so Oswaldo Leon, he's a determined individual and he's got, he's got a good ability to make the right decision. In, that's one of the main reasons behind his intelligence on the pitch. He's performed well in training lately. He's good in the air and he's considered a physical player. And we are paying absolutely nothing for him. So, yeah, very happy with that deal. Hopefully he, he can get a few games for us and he can help us get a few results. That would be very very nice. And now, as for the results in pre-season, like I say, we've only played against semi-professional teams. And we are, if this will ever load up, we are fully professional. So, yeah. So, you would expect us to be doing well against those teams. And we got, we got a lot of wins. We got a 6-0 win against CD Salcedo in our first friendly 4-1 in our second one against Cruzeiros. 5-0 against Los Saitas. Uh, Revolucioneros FC. 7-0 we beat them. That was a very, very nice performance. And you can see there, Guzman got two. Gonzalez got two. E. Torres and Magana both got goals as well. So it does look like there are a lot of goals in this team. And so I think that pretty much everything I need to catch you up on before today's first game. So yeah, I'll be back with you in a second when I've chosen the team. Okay, this is the team for today's game. We've got Miguel Jimenez, who is a 32-year-old goalkeeper. He is starting in goal for us today. And then on the left, we've got Vega, Juan D. Dios Vega, a 23-year-old left back with decent acceleration, decent pace. Hopefully can do a decent job for us today. And then on the right, we've got Alexis Pina, a 26-year-old central defender, but having to be played on the right-hand side today because the Mexican registration rules are mental. They're just, I'll show you them on the next video, but believe me, they're mental. Gilberto Sepul Sepulveda is a central defender, 23 years old. Decent, very decent everywhere, judging by what we can see from that. And alongside him is going to be Luis Olivas, a 22-year-old centre-back with decent strength and OK heading, OK marking, OK tackling. Hopefully, again, it should be OK. And then in the middle, we're going with a 4-3-2-1 and the two are wide. So we've got Organista, who's looked good in the friendlies. He's a 22-year-old central midfielder Best role is a deep lying playmaker, but we are playing him as a box to box. Molina, Jesus Molina, is a 34 year old central midfielder, defensive midfielder. He is playing as our ball winning midfielder today. And then in the advanced playmaker role, it's Edson Torres. He's more comfortable on the right wing, but again today, he's having to play in the middle. 
hopefully he can do a decent job at that. And then on the wings, we've got Magana, who has looked decent as well in training over the last few weeks. He's on the left wing, 24 years old, valued at £10,000. And so on the right wing, we've got Sebastian Martinez, 21-year-old, normally a striker, but again, we're having to shuffle players round because of the registration rules. And up front, we have got a guy by the name of Benjamin Sanchez, hopefully should do okay, only 21 years old, 5 foot 9, 10 stone 1, so he's a little fella, but hopefully he can do okay. And so that is the team for today's game. I'll be back with you when we're in the dressing room. All right then, guys, here we are in the dressing room. I hope I've got a translator with me because I cannot speak a word. Is it Mexican? Is that their language? Or do they speak Spanish? Somebody let me know down in the comments. My, my knowledge of world languages is shocking. And I'm going to go, come on lads, show me what you can do. And no reaction, probably because they can't understand me. And so let's go with the old Georgie Michael. That's not really worked. Ooh, don't know what to expect from this game. I'm going to hope for a 2-0 win. Come on, CD Tapateo. First highlight of the game is Organista with a corner kick and Kevin Magana with the header gets it into the back of the net. 15 minutes gone and we've got the lead. Very nice back header here from Magana that gave the keeper no chance. Five minutes before the break and we've got another highlight. It's Olivas coming forward with the ball for us. He goes wide to Vega, into Edson Torres, wide to Magana, Organista. What can he organise here? He goes for a simple pass to Molina, forward to Martinez, back to his man there, Edson Torres. Edson Torres coming forward, Organista, Magana, Organista, Vega. Vega with it, he's getting himself into the box. He's gone for the cross, oh, it was a cross come shot. The keepers had to parry it over the bar. And so we've got another corner ball. Organista again. This time it's going to be an outswinger. And it's gone to nobody in a red and white shirt. And that goes out for a throw in. And that is all we're getting as far as the first half. It is half time now. We're 1-0 up. 10 shots to their three. 7 on target to their one. An XG of 0.88 to then 0.17. But we have dominated possession. Look at that. That is beautiful to see. 64% to their 36%. Very, very happy with that. Let's go into the dressing room. Let's go hands on hips. Uh, you've played well so far, but there's still room for improvement. Uh, there's a lot more to come from you. A lot more to come from you. A lot more to come from you. But Magana's not happy. I've got a feeling me and Magana aren't going to get on. I don't think he's going to like the high standards I've got. But let's see if even though he's demotivated, he can maybe get us another goal in the second half. 20 minutes left in the game. Olivas has got us a free kick. He's played it forward, but it's just been headed away by the away side's defence. And now it's Gaza. With the ball for them to Velasquez. Velasquez, I think it was. Diaz, Gaza. These names, these names are going to be murder for me. How have I ended up here in Mexico? I can't pronounce any of the names. But anyway, they are now coming forward. Rodriguez, I might have bigger things to worry about than my pronunciations. As no, that long shot goes into that empty stand. Okay, just about 15 minutes left to go in the game. We've just made the one sub. Hernandez coming on up front in place of Sanchez. Hopefully that might be enough to get us a second goal. Might chuck Munoz in in a minute because that's one player my board really want me to develop for the first team. So I might chuck him on for the last 10 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes left. 
They're into the box. Goldan's cross is blocked. And now it's Magana picking the ball up for us. He goes long. And that might just get to Hernandez. It does indeed. Hernandez is on the left, but he's got nobody with him. He needs some help here. Finally, there's people getting into the box. And Martinez makes it 2-0. 2-0 to the Tapateo boys. 2-0 to the Tapateo boys. And that should be game over. That should be the game nicely sealed there. Hernandez with a very nice cross. And Martinez with a decent goal on the half volley. Very nice performance we've put in here. As now, with that goal having been scored, we are indeed going to throw on Zahid Munoz on the left-hand side. Magana's played well. He's got himself a goal. And so we're going to give him a rest for the last 10 minutes. Five minutes left of the game. They've got a throw in deep in their own half. And Cisco goes long, but our man Velasquez picks it up. Goes to Martinez. Martinez with the ball, wide to Munoz. Into Velasquez. Martinez is in. Hernandez makes it 3-0. 3-0 to the CD boys. Tapateo boys sounds better. CD boys sounds a bit gross and disgusting and, well, CD, doesn't it? I think we're going to stick with Tapateo boys. But Munoz with a nice pass there. Velasquez with the through ball. But a defender's tackle only put the ball in the path of Hernandez. And this has been a very, very comfortable victory. As now we're getting yet another highlight. This game's not on full match now, is it? No. And so what is going to happen here? Vega's got the ball. He's gone long again. And now Munoz has got it. Could we get a fourth? Hernandez is in. Hernandez is in. Ah, oh, a very, very last minute, last ditch tackle there. Otherwise, that would have been four. And now the highlights just keep on coming. And now their, their goal kick's gone long and they've managed to flick it on past our defence. Doldan with a goal and, well, no clean seat bonuses having to be paid. That saved us a little bit of money, but that's about the only positive. Because that was very easy for them to get in past our defence. Just everybody switched off. And Dolan, or Doldan even, with a very nice finish into the bottom corner. Well, that's the full time whistle. I'm very happy with that performance. I think that's the best performance I've gotten out of a team since we've started this career. So yeah, very happy with that. We've won the game three goals to one. 19 shots we had to their nine. 13 on target to their three. An XG of 1.91 to their 0.73. And 61% of the possession. Oh, beautiful stuff let's go into the dressing room let's go hands on hips i'm very pleased and now everybody's happy everybody's motivated i'll be back with you guys in a second to decide when we're going to come back for the next video so with one game played we are fourth in the table following that win but you can see that the team on top of the league alibrides the Oxica, I think that's how you pronounce it. They've got four points from their one game. But how is that possible, I hear you ask? Well, in this crazy, wacky Mexican league, you get a bonus point if you win away from home, at least for the first eight away games. So, yeah, that's just another crazy rule they've got over here. And so let's see, when are we going to come back? We are going to come back for the last game of August. We're going to take on Altinos Tepa. That is an away game. So we might be able to get four points from that one. So that would be very, very nice. And so guys, that is where we are going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that video, do me a massive favour and pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 21 content. 
and follow me on Twitter at Taylor M Gaming. Thank you all so much for watching. I shall see you next time.